Hey, what's up? It's your boy Grizz from CypherSales.com. It's Treat Dance. I'm going to teach you how to do the dolphin. This move is called that because it looks like you have a dolphin tail. You're going to get into a push-up position, push your right heel up towards the ceiling, bending your right knee so it looks like a tail. You're going to lower yourself down to the ground. You're going to rotate from having your weight on your right knee to your right heel as you turn. Then from here, you're going to rotate your body and push off your supporting hand to catch yourself back into the top of a push-up. So you go round, support off your heel, push-up. Ground, support off your heel, push-up. Ground, heel, push-up. So for the dolphin, just want to give you a couple of tips. If you have your right leg bent, you're going to be turning to your left side, going counterclockwise. So you're going to be turning away from your bent right leg. Um, a lot of people get stuck in this move because they don't throw themselves all the way into it. When you're doing the rotation, give yourself as much momentum as you can. Just throw your whole body into it. And if you have a little bit of extra momentum, you can just catch yourself on your hands. So when you're at the bottom here, you turn around, and then here you push off your supporting hand, you torque your body, throw your arm there, throw as much as you can into it. If you have a little bit extra, you just catch it on your hands and lower yourself down. It's better to have too much than too little. If you don't have enough, you just won't be able to complete the circle. You'll fall down out of it. Um, the hardest part of the move for most people, where they usually get tripped up, is after they lower themselves down and rotate here, they have a hard time completing the circle. So what you can do to get the most out of your body, make sure you're pushing up off your supporting hand, make sure you're turning your upper body, leading with your left shoulder, turning it to your left side, and that you're swinging your hand wide. That doesn't just give you momentum, it also looks good <laughs> and gives kind of a trail effect in the move when you do it quickly. So all of those things need to happen at the same time. And you can just drill that one section. You can be right here drilling that one spot, practice pushing off your hand, whipping your arm, pushing off your heel, turning your shoulder. Hit them all at the same time to catch yourself in the push-up position. For the dolphin, it's really important that you get each part down in isolation before you try to put the whole thing together. Um, I know that you're going to want to just make it flow and hit the whole thing, but if you can isolate each movement and do them separately, doing it all together won't be any kind of problem. So make sure when you're training that you just break it down nice and slow. Do ground, balance yourself on your heel, and then whip for the rotation. Lower yourself in the push-up to the ground. Turn onto your heel, whip the rotation. And once you can get all of those nice and smooth separately, you can start working on just doing it all as one sequence without any stops. But the best way to get there quickly is by isolating each part nice and slow. Let's try it with a nice slow half speed count, then we'll do it full speed to the music. So we'll go one, two, three. 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 If that felt good, let's try it full speed to the music. If you need a little bit more time, run through the lesson again. And when you feel like you're ready, let's try the whole thing. Full speed.